Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, The Broken Hearts Gallery. I know, it's from 2020. It's on my list for some reason or another. And it's just time to get to it. It's already on Stars, so if you have Stars, you can watch it. Um, if you don't, I'm sure there's another way to get it. Um, but it's about after a breakup, a young woman decides to start a gallery where people can have trinkets from past relationships. But it's 6.3. It's like one of the highest rating movies on my list that's available at home right now. Um, Geraldine Biswathan. I've seen her before in other movies. I don't know how to um, pronounce her name. And then the only other name I recognize, and this is probably why it's on here, is Suki Waterhouse. Um, that's probably why I put this on my list, because I like her. I think she's pretty cool. Alright, so hour and 48 minutes long, like I said, 6.3, let me get into it, find out what it's about, give you a better idea, let you know if it's really in my demographic, I don't think it might be, but we'll see, stick around, I'll be back. Hey everybody, I'm going to do a quick check in here, we're watching the Broken Hearts Gallery, we're at the 57 minute, 6 second mark, um, you know, a little over halfway through. And uh, it's really kind of what they said. Our main character is Lucy, uh, who's the actor's name I mentioned in the beginning. She has had a lot of relationships, and for every relationship, she keeps a souvenir or a memento to remind her of the relationship, and she collects them and hoards them. Um, and she most recently went through a breakup with Max and has some of his things, whatever. And she meets Nick, who is building a hotel. And, uh, you know, they start to become friends and some random, um, you know, they, they see each other randomly and become kind of friends. And so she start, he's, they both kind of start putting this, these souvenirs in his hotel while he's building it. And um, other people want to participate and bring in their things. And so that's why it's the Broken Hearts Gallery. People are bringing all their, their trinkets in that remind them of their broken relationships um, but the whole theme of it essentially is now she's still longing for Max the last guy she was dating and you know you could see the relationship between her and Nick starting to build and prediction is Nick likes her she can't get over her last relationship you know it's gonna escalate up and then crash and whatever's gonna happen at the end there you go <laughs> um, that's my prediction not a spoiler alert that's just uh, what I think is gonna happen but We'll see. I do kind of like the characters. I like her a little bit. I like Nick, and I like his buddy. I forget his name, who's helping him with it. Um, and her friends are, are funny, too. So it's a, it's a good... I like the characters um, so much. The story, eh, you know, kind of just the slight variation of broken heart movies we've seen all the time, you know, unrequited love all that jazz but uh, let me get back to it here see where it goes and uh, I'll check in at the end give you my final thoughts stick around hey everybody we're at the credits of the Broken Hearts Gallery and uh, I'll be honest it wasn't exactly what I thought my prediction was gonna be so you're gonna have to watch it and find out I did not spoil it well you know I mean kinda similar of course you know you knew what was going on, but they, they didn't do exactly what I thought they were going to do, so props to them. Um, and I found the movie cute, you know? Probably, I don't know, not really in my demographic, as I had said before. Um, but I liked the characters. The story was kind of kind of original, you know? Um, it's, again, the whole thing that I said before about unrequited love, somebody the ex, all that stuff. Too. We've seen that that many, many times, but the way the background noise that goes along with that, with the, the hotel and the gallery and, you know, the friends and stuff like that. So, um, a little different here and there. So, yeah, definitely, definitely a cute movie um, with, I thought, well done characters. So, and the other guy's name, Nick's friend, I think was Marco. I liked him too. I've seen him in other things as well, but uh, he was funny too. So there you go. That's what I got for you. Oh, and I will say this: like uh, the reason this was probably on my list because Suki was in it, and I, like I said, I usually like some of the things that she's in and the characters that she plays. But 
if you're gonna watch this for her, don't. Um, she's very, she's on like three scenes. Uh, not a very ro big role. I think she had one line, maybe two. Um, but uh, that's okay. Uh, the rest of the characters I enjoyed. So, all right, there you go. That's all I got for you. I'm probably around a six for it, um, which I'm surprised by. I thought I would be more of a five, but you know, cute. All right, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. <laughs> if you have any comments, put them down below. I'd love to hear from you. And thanks for tuning in. Kimmel's Irish Pub.